Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more Children of Morta. Last time the backstory was revealed to be aliens. What a twist. Today, I can only assume we're heading off to the giant space pyramid to punch an ancient lion-headed alien god. You heard me. Let's go take a look around really quick. Cause yeah, things are looking rough. There is no background. There is no landscape. That's just corruption everywhere. Everything's all wibbly. Even some of the terrain around the house has gotten a little bit distorted. I don't know if that's a graphical thing or if that's just the way the corruption is, but yeah. Crap's gone bad, yo. Still got the baby though, so that's nice. Let's head downstairs. I got the wolf pup sitting on the stairs. There. The final destination was on the other side of that gate. The ending was nigh. That gate? Oh, magic gate. Oh no. What are we doing? Ooh, fancy. I knew it. Well, not that. But I knew something would happen with that stone. Cool. Reminds me a little bit of the portals that would take us to the bird thing. Fascinating. Well, let's go. Oh my. Yeah, just, uh, just one place. We're just going straight to the boss then. Oh my. Who are we going as? Cure fatigue? Ooh, a new thing. Bergsons may also use the mysterious egg to immediately remove a single character's corruption. That sounds nice. So yeah, I could immediately cure Lucy. But I think I may actually go in as Linda, at least at first. Just to see how things are going, because again, she can move while attacking. So let us away. Oh my. What's all this then besides cool looking? How you doing? Ooh, nice things for me. Gemstone hungry? That's new. The damage of your primary attacks increases with the gemstones you possess. And considering I start with two, I will take that and thank you kindly. What you got? Ooh, I've seen that one. Heal a portion of your missing health. I'll take it. I wonder if these are in any way intentional or just they drop random ones and it happens to be really nice stuff. Pulsating orb shoots a missile that grows larger with time. I mean, I'll take it. It's not a preferred one, but I'll take it. This place is really cool looking. So am I just going straight to boss fight? Because that's what it looks like. Everything's kind of prismatic looking. It's kind of neat. What should I expect here? Besides pain. Final boss and all. Hello? Upon the throne, the mountain god U himself, without Rhea Dana's love, the darkness has swollen inside him, consuming and uncontainable. Oh my. I don't feel safe here. Oh? Family? Oh, what's going on? Are we getting epic? Ooh, purifying light. So I'm going to be fighting and the family's going to be doing a thing? Maybe, possibly, perhaps? Yeah, I don't know what to expect out of this, but I'm certainly glad that I'm going with Linda right now with, with the range. Okay, okay, okay. Although I do have to care be careful of my stamina. Whoa, bullet curtain. Alright, nothing like a little bullet curtain to make things interesting. Spice up the life. Do you only fire those forward? Ow, little damage. <laughs> Digging the super dramatic music going on. So hi, how you doing? How you been? Uh, what's it been like? Couple thousand years for you. You're right, guy. You you want to maybe? And without Rhea Dana's love, jealousy 
would swallow her children. Oh my. Okay, yeah, that figures. Getting a little bit of everything going then, huh? Cool. Have a big fireball thing. Whoa, no, 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 no. I don't like that. I don't approve. Nice kaleidoscope, though. Let's have a little bit of that. Blow you up. Ow, pain. Uh, heal me. That, that didn't heal nearly as much as I was hoping. So I've got you to what? Half health? No, oh, bullet curtain. Yeah, I have upgraded the Bergsons a little bit. So I've got more swiftness going on. Which is nice. I've maxed out attack power. Yee, I don't know what that does and I don't like it. Could you leave me alone, guys? Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, to have the healing potion going again. Huh? Okay. That's you. Oh. Avoid the laser. Uh, two, one. Potion. Thank you. Yes, I know I need to be attacking a lot more than I am. Oh, you little jerk. <laughs> I completely forgot about him. Uh, oh, crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Here, have some of this. Yeah, some of this is on me entirely because I'm not paying nearly as much attention as I should be. Um. Okay, I need to deal with you. <laughs> oh crap, that was bad. Here, have some of this. All right, deal with some of Oh, potions, don't mind if I do. Oh, I don't. Here, have some of that. Oh, that just happened to hit you, didn't it? Hey, again, I'm kind of digging the music. It's like boss fight. Very dramatic. But it's like slaves toiling away. Type music. You know, like something you would hear in a factory or something like that. That seems oddly fitting of all of this. Oh, heck yeah. Rage mode. And I... Paralyzed. Huh. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Rage mode. Rage. Oh, if only I had my healing potion. It, wait, what, 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 what? I've, I've got health. What happened? Heavy as iron and difficult to breathe in, the air burned their lungs. It was pitch black. The light meant protection and hope. And the Bergson had to rescue the others as well. Um, you, uh, you, uh, explain, please. I'm confused. Okay, there's some of that. I seem to be healing. That's great. I'm very confused what's going on. Oh, F to revive. Okay, I, I need to revive you. I get it, 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 I get it. Okay, back off, guy. Back off. Let me revive. Okay. So I gotta go around reviving my family. Upon the hero who knew that these final steps were to be taken shoulder to shoulder. Yes. The family acting as one. We will crush the enemy. See it? Not driven. Just uh you know, smeared on the ground before us. We won't hear the lamentation of the women. Ah, we're gonna smear them too. No survivors. Jerk. Stop that. Oop. Do I take pain? Do I take damage if I step outside of the light? Considering that is pure corruption. This is an interesting... Place? Let's say boss fight, but I don't think I'm in a boss fight anymore. So what just happened with all of that? Did I make it? Was the protection of another light. Yes, I know. I'm working on it. There's only one of me here. Unfortunately, the family is not really able to do much at the moment. Okay, revive. I'm not able to... Oh, crap. Yeah, I, I actually can't do anything. I didn't mean to grab that. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I can't save and attack at the same time, unfortunately. 
they all were still in danger in the darkness. Oh, that's... That's what? The the uh, two, three more? To be saved. Yeah, I'm working on it. So I take it their little magic stones aren't helping anymore. Too much corruption. Too much corruption, not enough fiber. You gotta have a balanced diet. Makes things go bad on you. Alright, again. Super glad I decided to go with Linda for this. She may not be the fastest, but that uh, ability to move and attack at the same time? Awesome for this. So where's the next uh, family member or three? Yeah, and I can conserve some of my stamina for this. I just go and tippy tap. Oh, so nice. So nice. And yeah, uh, apparently attack power in the upgrades maxes out at 20. And yet another light fending off the darkness for now. So I'm as strong as I can get. And it's pretty rad. Sort of. I mean, I would love to be even stronger than that, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Uh, you look cool, you know that? Save a little fiery Lucy. Ow! Jerk! Time was short, and haste was needed. The final yeah, I'm working on it. Nearing its end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, working on it. Uh-oh, we're going back to it. Hey, guy. I really hope I can manage this. The Bergsons knew that this was the final step. Love must prevail over hatred. Oh, man. We are gonna kick your face in. This is awesome. Got the whole family in there just bashing him. Is there any losing this? Aside from cutscenes. Stamina just shot up. Oh, this is cool. Give me that. Ooh, cutscene. The Supreme One. Master of all and master of nothing. His greatest fear was made absolute. He was left alone. Left alone to his misery and failure, to the unending cycle of despair and pain. He wished for its end, wished to bathe in an eternal darkness. That's the tree by the house, I think. Mercy prevailed as the wheel had turned back to kindness. That which was expelled from the heart returned. Oh ho! This is so cool looking. Again, this is all pixels. All the time apart melting away, along with all the pain, all the sadness, and all the misery. Now we're getting abstract. <laughs> what? Land met sky, two became one. Love ignited rapture as innocence flooded the space between breaths. Happiness and curiosity weaved, mixed, and tangled in a dance a millennium in coming. Should this be marked mature? What is going on? <laughs> this is cool to watch, but I have no clue what I'm looking at. As the one ascended, but will never leave, a family looked upon the mountain and land over which they were given ward. All right. A family left exhausted was now more complete than before. A god once stricken with grief was now whole. And a land once cast into chaos was now left in serene balance. Hey, we got to see Grandmama. Also, who's the little white-haired kid? As the story comes to its conclusion, remember this. 
when the time spent in this land is looked back upon, when daring feats are recited along with victories and defeats, remember that it was not a tale of heroes or villains, nor of good and evil, but one of family, and above all else, a tale of love. Go now, Guardian, and never forget. Awesome. So does that mean the day is saved forever? And the corruption is no more? Thanks to their efforts? Thanks to the family working together, defying the rituals, and just ganging up on a big corrupted guy? Also, the tree's got little lights on it now. Yeah, I'd been wondering what the significance of that tree was going to be. Because it certainly looked like it had a doorway or something on it. And yeah, that's the end. I'll be completely honest. Interesting as it was to watch that last cutscene. Man, did this game take a turn at the end. Like everything else, like all throughout the rest of the game. I was like, oh boy, it's a roguelike. We're going through caves, we're saving people, we're beating up goblins and monsters and all that. And it was cool. I had a lot of fun with that, doing the grinding, doing the leveling up, upgrading everything. It was a nice time, fighting off bosses, big spiders, robots, things like that. Nice heroics. It was cool. And then suddenly alien god guys and energy balls and whatever else was going on in the ending it seriously felt like things didn't just go off the rails they exploded the rails and went flying off into space because screw you we're gonna do what we want i'm a little bit confused by things but it was a nice happy ending i don't know i have very mixed feelings on the ending the rest of the game everything else i liked it i loved it i want some more of it the art style, as I've said all throughout the playthrough, fantastic looking. I love what people are able to do with pixel art like this. And even during the little cutscene, it was frame by frame type stuff with the, the two gods in the end. So even though it was a little bit stiff and rigid, that was still all pixels going on and it was so cool looking. Whether it's things like that going all abstract and weird, or just the subtle movements of the Bergsons themselves, idly standing around, breathing, moving around their clothing, their fabrics moving, even though they were just pixels. I don't know. I've just always loved what pixel art can do. Whether it's stuff from the old days or stuff from now, it's just always impressed me. Sure, you can have 3D stuff going all day long. It'll look fantastic, obviously, because oh boy, it's realism. But to me, pixels, they're a more refined art, despite their rigidity, if that makes any sense. But yeah, overall, this was absolutely fantastic. I loved going through it, and I like how this entire episode basically just wound up being the final boss fight. I didn't expect that. I thought maybe we would have the pyramid itself to go through but it was a bit shorter than I'd expected. So that was kind of neat. And here we are, back at home. I suppose... now... oh... You're the babby, aren't you? I suppose after the ending it was just like time had passed or something? Either that or babies really grow fast in this, uh, world. Yeah, everything's all pure and clean again as it was in the beginning. Yeah. And that's kind of cool. Everybody's off doing their own things. Happy times. Trees looking nice. Yeah, again. This is all pixels. This is the water. They have water in this. It moves like water. Occasionally you see water creatures, fish, snakes, whatever. It just works so well. I don't know. I, I love pixel art. Yeah. 
important tree. I want to go see what have we got. Because we've saved the day. What else is there? Ah, looks like I can still go between the areas. If I want to just, I guess, keep fighting things? Nifty, because I do like grinding in games. I may do that on my own time. But anywho, this has been Children of Morta, start to finish. This has been a very great time. I certainly hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.